Oh, oh, I'm falling asleep. I need a Red Bull or something. My fuel gauge is, oh, oh, my fuel light actually just came on. That means I have 10 gallons left. Already burnt 200 gallons, and I've been on the road for about a little under 18 hours. So I'm thinking I'm gonna head into town. I gotta somehow ditch the semi because they're looking for it. Look at that. Look at that car for sale. Okay, so I've been thinking this whole time. Oh, there's a diner too. I am starving Marvin. All right, let's pull into the parking lot here. So I heard on the radio, they are looking for a semi that matches my description. So the cops are looking for me and they know I'm driving this semi. I'm guessing boss man gave them the tip that I headed out with this semi. So let's get rid of it. And I literally just passed that used car dealership with a car that looks great. Honestly, it's a little flashy, but who would guess that I'd be driving that old thing? It looks like a 1960, maybe even earlier. And I think it was a Chevy Impala, if I'm not mistaken. Let's start. Okay, sorry, buddy. You're going to need to hit the brakes there. Oh, I think I hit his bumper. That's fine. And right now, I really don't care about money. I care about getting out of here without getting caught. I need to lay low for, for a few weeks at least until the cops are kind of off my tail. Hey man, my name's Mike. I'm looking, honestly, trade straight up for the Chevy Impala. This semi is at least, this whole semi setup with the trailer is at least worth 80 to 100 grand. So it's your lucky day, man. Shake on it. Pink slips, trade them. See you later. Well, I think that guy needs to pick up his jaw. I think it's on the floor. He got a good deal. This thing's not worth as much as my semi and trailer, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, he's hitting the horn. Let's go. Let's go. Chevy Impala, this thing rips. Oh yeah, it's got some horse underneath her. So the reason why I came to Elk Mountain is there's mountains out here. And so I'm wanting to hide out in them for a few weeks, lay low. The cops are on me. Didn't have too much trouble going down the interstate yet. All right, I think it's a left to get up to the mountains. Again, I don't have a phone on me, so this has been a little more difficult. I've always relied on a phone for Google Maps and stuff. Obviously, I tossed that out, smashed it. And so we're trying to get up to the mountains, following some of these street signs. I thought it said mountains this way. There we go. This is the bridge. This looks really familiar. Yep, there's the rodeo. Oh, no. Is that a cop? It's just a pickup truck. Oh, it's a cop. I see some lights. Slow it down. Slow it down. What's the speed limit? What's the speed limit? Oh, no, guys. We got lights on us. Lights on us. Okay. Uh, Blinker, blinker, blinker. This is the first time using the blinker in this thing. Actually, cool blinker. Okay, it's not. There's a little ball right there. Okay. All right. The brakes aren't the best in this thing. Oh, he's lighting me up. This isn't good. Okay. You know, the only thing I'm just thinking about it now, I did not change my clothes and get too secretive. Okay, there's a lot of traffic coming here. There's the officer coming. Here, let's see, guys. We're going to make a run for it. He's going to recognize me. Howdy, officer. I will see you later. Have a good one. All right, boys, let's head out of here. There's no way he didn't recognize me. He pulled me over for a reason, and I was going to show him my ID, and then he was going to know exactly who I am. So here we go. I made it 18, 18 and a half hours without getting caught, without even getting stopped, and then we switch cars, and he stops me. That's kind of crazy, but I actually think I missed my turn there. Dang it. All right, I got to pay a little better attention. Come on, boys. Let's get some drifts in here. Here he is. He's trying to box me in. Let's shake him, bake him. There we go. Let's get some donuts in this Chevy Impala. It's pretty quick. Okay, that wasn't the best move. Okay, let's head to town. I think I missed my turn. This is our turn. There's a, there a sign that said trails up ahead. There we go. This thing isn't the best on trails, but it floats like a Cadillac. Hopefully, it stings like a bee. Pay attention to the road. Oh, yeah. This thing's smooth. We're cruising for a bruise, and that truck isn't too quick. I think it was a gasser. So actually, that should be a little quicker than diesel, you'd think. But anyway, let's try and get up to the mountains at some point. I'm going to have to ditch this sucker, go on foot. And I'm hoping from there I can kind of just hide out. But this isn't good. I'm sure he's calling for backup. And that's never good to have more than one on you. So let's try and lose him here. Oh, no, I'm squirreling out. Hang on, hang on. There we go. We landed it. Uh, he's starting to catch back up with me. Okay, here we go. We're starting to climb up into the mountains. And if we see something that makes sense to ditch the car and start running up the mountains, I'm going to do it. The guy didn't look like he was... He looked pretty athletic, but I think I can outrun him. Here we go. We're getting some separation. It's hard to control this thing once you get going too quick. The tires are not meant for this, man. These are like the white sidewall tires. Oh, these are just for looks. Here we go, boys. We're getting some air. Yeehaw! Oh, we hit that perfectly. All right, that was pretty cool. Okay, shortcut, shortcut. We're hanging right here. There we go. Whoa, this is a lake? South Park? McKinsey South Park? I'm having trouble steering here. I think I got a flat. Yeah, I got a flat. Okay, we're ditching the car. Jump! There we go. All right, the car is in the water. All right, real quick. I used to swim back in high school. Let's swim across this thing, get some separation. It is surrounded by trees. Well, we have no evidence of the car now. That is good news. Let's get up to the mountains, boys. He's sitting on the dock, it looks like, calling in for backup. Hopefully, they don't have a helicopter, but just stay in the trees. Here we go. Some of this stuff is starting to look pretty familiar. That lake I had a few picnics with the family at. 
and I think we're ahead of the game. His backup probably isn't able to get here. We were moving pretty quick, but there could be some state parks, some national park guys that some DNR agents that could be out here that are pretty good in, in the woods. All right, I've been hiking for two hours. I made it to the complete top. I've done this hike before and I don't hear, see, no evidence, no signs of cops chasing me, no dogs barking at me. So I'm gonna go figure out a spot to camp, hang out for a few days at the very least here until I run out of food. I only got a can of beans. I'm trying to find somewhere, some dead wood around me to start a fire. Just a small fire in case they have a helicopter, they can see the smoke, see the flame, but then also very covered. So something somewhat flat. This seems pretty good, a lot of brush in here. All right, this is a pretty flat spot. I have the high ground. If anybody comes up, I'm gonna be able to hear them, see them, get moving. And then if they come from the open area, should be able to see them. All right, let's set up camp. It's gonna be a cold night tonight. Ooh, ooh. It was so cold last night. I couldn't, I couldn't find any dead wood. I didn't want to start a fire in case they were looking for me. I thought I heard a helicopter and, and possibly some dogs barking. So I just laid low in this bush. It wasn't too windy, so it wasn't terrible. But I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, guys. I'm going to try and head back into town. I'm going to take off my hat, a few other things, try and see if I can find some clothes, some warm food. And from there, I just need to find somebody. If I could find Steve, maybe get a burner cell phone, make a call to him, figure out where he is, and we could work together. Well, I've been walking for a couple of hours now. That is the mountain peak that I was at. I've been walking this gravel road, just staying on the high ground, ducking. If a car comes by or could possibly be a cop, but I think here's my opportunity. Let's go see if I can hitch a ride with this guy. I think his car's broken down. All right, stay hidden. There's a lot of traffic through here. I took off my cowboy hat and my jacket that I'm sure the cop's gonna recognize me by. Kept my shades on. Hey ma'am, you're having some vehicle issues? I could help with that. I used to be a mechanic. Ah, oh, looks like you're low on coolant. You might have a head gasket going bad or something. Yeah, it's overheating, I bet. Do you got any bottles of water or something? Okay, perfect. Grab some bottles of water. We'll, we're, we're just gonna need to fill it up. We can only go so far like this though. Perfect. Yep. Give me, give me like four bottles of water. That'll be perfect. Yeah. There's a big drops of coolant dripping down there. So we should be able to limp it into town. There's a used car dealership that I think they work on them. In case you break down on your way into town, I'll, do you mind if I just ride with you? I would hate for you to get stuck again. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Happy to help. Perfect. Thank you for the ride. Yeah. I was, I was just on a walk. No big deal. Oh, thanks for driving me to the diner. So the, yep. The used car dealership place, they work on cars all the time. Just back right into there. Thanks, Vanessa. Have a good one. I just had the idea. Let's head to this laundromat, see if they have some clothes that, you know, would fit me and I can just toss toss out my old stuff. Sometimes they have some clothes in the lost and found. Spencer, I know you're up there. Dang it, guys. They got me surrounded. It's the police. I heard them coming in. I found a trap door to get up to the roof. I'm hiding. Spencer, get on down. Let's see if that's really... That's boss man. Boss man's here. Spencer, I literally see you there. Come on, man. I'm not playing games. You are surrounded. You're not going anywhere. More backups on the way. You have nowhere to run to now. I know what you did. I know everything, man. Let me see you. This isn't Stop good. Stop hiding, this man. Good, you don't guys. need to hide. What do I do? What do I do? It's all fenced in, too. That's the worst part. I can't jump that fence. That thing's like 12 feet tall. Well, this is a terrible situation. More cops are on their way. Make sure to check out next video to see how we get out of this mess. This isn't a good situation. Wish me luck.